Hi guys, I'd like to share with you one of my pet peeves. Pet peeves means something that other people do that make you angry. So, I am an ESL teacher and I love teaching, but something really pisses me off, something really makes me angry, and it is when <clears throat> People do not say the S at the end of words. Now, I understand that this is, at first, a pronunciation problem. So, you guys are going to go to Emma's video that she made, words ending in S. So, this will teach you all about the pronunciation of the word S at the end of words. So, ingvid.com will give you, type in S pronunciation, and you've got that video right there. After you watch that video, there will be no excuse. So please, try, help me out. And I'm going to tell you why it's so important. First example, use the S, is if you said to someone, for example, I like cat or I like dog, this means you want to say that you like dogs, cats. You think they're cute, you maybe have a couple pets, but guess what? If you say I like cat and I like dog, this means you like to eat them. So you don't want someone to think that you like to eat dogs or cats now, do you? So, it's crucial, very important, that you always try to remember to put the S. So, instead of saying, I like cat and I like dog, we're gonna say, I like cats and I like dogs. If it's an animal that you like, you're gonna put the S, with the exception of chick chicken. You can like chickens, but if you like to eat it, you're not going to put the S. So, for example, my favorite food is chicken. So, I would say, I like chicken. But if I like the animal, bark, 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 maybe a bit too much, I would say, I like chickens. So, be careful. You don't want to say to someone, I like sheep. Because that just, that's a different subject. So, the first rule that you have to remember with this is, we always use an S with countable nouns. So, a countable noun means something that you can count in groups. For example, dogs, cats, one dog, two dogs, three dogs. You can count them. We have countable and uncountable nouns in English. If you're not too sure, you can reference it on ingvid.com or you can look in a, a grammar book or a dictionary and you will know if it's countable or uncountable. So rule number one is that every countable noun will have to have an S if it's plural. If you look at my example, now I hear this all the time. I will ask someone, wow, cool shoes. How much were they? $40. And I'm saying $40, $40, what? Because dollars are countable, you have to put the yes. So, it's not forty dollars, it's forty dollars. So, I have five dollars. Now, if you only have one of something that's countable, that's okay. You don't need the S. So, for example, I have one dog, I don't put the S. If you have one of something that's countable, you don't need the S. But as soon as you have two, you need to put the yes. The other words that we're going to look at are more of a grammar-based thing, but that's cool. There were several, maybe this is a new word for you, several means the same as a lot or many. It means more than one. So, for example, if you say there, will, there were several dog, this doesn't make sense because this means more than one. I have to write the S. 
I would say there were several dogs. I have a lot of cats. So if you told me that you have a lot of cats, I think that you're going to invite me to eat the cat that you have because you have a large portion of cat for me to eat. I have never eaten cat. Um, probably would. But I don't think you would like me to eat your cat. So you have to say, I have a lot of cats. Meow. Crazy cat ladies. Hello. Next one, I hear people say, oh, my city has many tree. Huh. Okay. Well, many, which means the same as a lot or several, again, you need the S. So you have to say, not tress, my city has many trees. One more that's even more confusing for you guys is too many. Now, many and a lot and several are always positive things, okay? But too many is always a bad thing or a negative thing. So if you like trees and cats and dogs, you can use many. But if you don't like the countable noun, you have to say too many. So for example, I can say she has too many uh, brothers. So maybe you know somebody that has 10 brothers, and you don't like the brothers. You can say, mm, she's got too many brothers. I don't like that. Maybe you know someone that has uh, 15 children. You can say, oh my God. Well, in my opinion, she just has too many kids. Now the word children is countable. So it's plural. So you don't need to worry about the S. But kids, is countable. So, she has too many brothers, too many kids. Um, when it's too many, it's something you don't like. But these ones are something that you like or you think are okay. So as far as the grammar sense goes, if you can remember several, a lot, and many, you're going to remember to put the S. There's one more group of words that I think are confusing. But that's cool. We have in English no one, nobody, anyone, anybody, everyone, and everybody. Now, to help you guys out, no one and nobody mean exactly the same. Okay? Anyone, anybody, they're the same. It doesn't matter. But when you use these words, you always need to make sure that your verb is going to be singular. So, for example, I can say, no one or nobody likes, okay? Because this is a singular, we need to put an S on our verb. Nobody likes taxes. Hmm. Taxes are terrible. Um, everybody or everyone has, we can't say everyone have, we have to say everyone has a brain. Sometimes I wonder about this, but I know physically everyone has a brain, okay? I can't say nobody like taxes, I have to say nobody likes. So, if you have no, any, or every, one or body, you always have to make sure that your verb is a singular, takes a singular noun. Go check out Emma's lesson. And remember, anytime that you have a countable noun, it's more than one, please do Ronnie a big favor and please say the S. Later.